earlier today in what was scheduled to be a matchup between Mike Grossa and Zach Alexander. T. Phoenix made an unexpected appearance and informed Zach if he no longer wanted to be part of the influence, that meant Princess would no longer be in his corner. But Zach had other ideas, prompting Phoenix to request Grossa switch matches with him so he could deal with Zach personally. Phoenix controlled a good portion of the match early on, even surprising Zach with a pair of arm drags and a schoolboy for a near pinfall. Zach would rebound later on and deliver his version of a dragon screw, sending Phoenix down to the canvas awkwardly shoulder first. Despite the injury to his shoulder, Phoenix would still be able to capitalize on a mistake by Zach Alexander and pick up the win. Here's a matchup that's been building for a couple weeks now. TJ Swift defending the Junior Heavyweight Championship against Amanda Fox. This goes back a couple of weeks. They were partners teaming against the Epidemic. It was all in an effort to uh, have Crimson earn himself a Junior Heavyweight Championship match. And it turned into a little dissension among Swift and Fox. That is not your usual T.J. Swift music. That This is, in fact, throwback night. Well, that isn't your usual T.J. Swift music. This is, in fact, throwback night. And not many would remember, but T.J. Swift has used this theme before. Not with RWA, I believe. In addition to that tag team match I mentioned before, there was a three-way matchup between these two and Crimson Alchemia that resulted in a controversial finish. TJ Swift was the official winner of that matchup. TJ Swift hailing from every woman's heaven and well Fox starting this one off in a hurry I would suggest maybe not every woman charging after Swift again and being thrown off TJ Swift usually has to chase the girls away or beat them away with a stick this is something uh, completely unusual for him Attempting that kick blocked by Fox, sweeping the legs. And TJ does the same thing right back, and she landed very awkwardly on the back of her neck and, and her shoulders. Let's go, TJ. Now proceeding a little bit more cautiously here. Let's go, it looked like TJ was going for an arm drag, but missed. Instead, sweeped the leg out and got a pinfall. Now again, and she rolls through and delivers a couple of forearms. Now with the go behind. The Connor roll attempt. Swift sent backwards. Now to the outside. And Fox gets a shoulder to the midsection. Wow, what a drop kick by TJ Swift from the outside and springboard style. And doesn't go for the pin. That that could prove to be a mistake right there. It's an arm drag. And then receives one for his own troubles. 
Nobody home on that clothesline by Fox. Nobody home again. And a double drop kick attempt. Bit of a stalemate, but Fox slow to get up here. And TJ just allowing her the chance to get herself together. I hope that does not prove to be a mistake for TJ. Tilt the world leg scissor. TJ has no idea where he is. Version of the code breaker right there. And now Fox off the ropes. Looked like she was going for that spinning DDT. Didn't quite turn out how she liked it to. into the corner up and over Fox hard into the buckle chest first TJ with a one-legged monkey flip big time turnaround type spine buster TJ standing above the body of Amanda Fox now off the ropes once off the ropes twice pendulum swinging elbow TJ now ascending the ropes and Fox I'm not so sure right there if she fell into the ropes or did that on purpose charging in now legs around the neck of TJ Swift and falls oh I think I think Fox caught herself on the knee of Swift on the way down Hurricane Rana from the second and Fox may have hit her head on the knee of TJ Swift. Her momentum took her right over. Now both competitors on their knees. Forearms back and forth. German suplex by TJ Swift, and he's still holding on. And a second one dragging Fox around like a rag doll. And a third with a bridge cover. Only a two. taking his belt off now he placed it in the corner I'm not sure if that's going to come into play or not opposite corner Swift with a head start shoulder first he was full speed ahead right there no slowing down uses the good shoulder to send Fox out to the apron but she held on kick right to the face now she's climbing the ropes Sunset flip. TJ holding on to the ropes here. And now, I don't think he can quite get her up with the injured shoulder, but there's the code red. And I think the injured shoulder right there played a part, and we have a new junior heavyweight champion. Congratulations to Amanda Fox, the new junior heavyweight champion. Now, as you may remember, there's already a match scheduled for Legacy, pitting the junior heavyweight champion against the television champion. That match is going to change now to Amanda Fox against Damian Black, title for title unification match. Amanda Fox, her second reign as junior heavyweight champion. 
staring across at TJ Swift. He let this one just slip away from him and she's offering him a handshake. Will he accept? I don't know, I'd be kind of surprised at this point. Oh, I stand corrected. TJ, I, I can't read lips, but I know he's got a rematch on his mind. Coming up next is our main event. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.